Hello everybody, this is Navera here. Today, we're over in Springfield. In Universal Studios. Yes, with a special guest, Duffman. Duffman, oh yeah. So we're gonna actually, we've been wanting to do this for a little bit, go into Moe's, get a drink, maybe get a bite to eat. I really wanna try a flaming Moe's, like super bad. So we're gonna head in and we'll see you soon. Be sure to Duffman. You heard the girl. I've been wanting to try a flaming mo for so long. Unfortunately, they're not alcoholic. I feel like you should get some, like a shot of vodka from over there or something and throw it in there. Just make your own drinks at Universal. Ooh, it's a fizzy orange soda. I love orange soda. I do, I do, I do. Breaks my heart, absolutely, that uh, so many of Universal's like funnest looking drinks, most fun, aren't alcoholic. I mean, I get it. It's like a sort of family-ish brand. You don't want like the like fun looking drinks to be like appealing to kids, but come on, man, give me a shot or something. Okay, it's a light orange soda. Uh, it reminds me of the Best Bin Fizz, but you know, the Best Bin Fizz they get with alcohol at Disney. It's almost like Alka Seltzer for your drink. It's literally trying to jump out the glass at me, and well, I'm gonna answer that call. That bubble's like a dig of a swamp. Four and a half out of five plus. I love that. I hate to compare the two, but that's with the bubbles. That's what I instantly think about. But it's still like a fun, refreshing drink. Maybe three out of five plus. This Duff Light is in a different size cup and mode than the one that you get at Duff Garden, so that's interesting. I think this is still my favorite, like, signature beer of Universal Studios. It's my favorite beer of all ones that we try that are like your generic, you know, whatever beers. I do like the cups. I think all in all, it's probably the same size as the one you can get from the Duff Beer stand outside of Moe's, but uh, I like the slender feel of it. Cool and crisp. It still tastes like Bud Light to me, but it's not bad. Two and a half out of five plus. Regular duck. Obviously a little darker. Um, I don't think I was a big fan last time I tried it. I'm still not a huge fan. It is pretty nutty. I mean, I don't think I could chug that. That would be a slow sipper. I think I'd stick with the Duff Light, especially on a hot day. That's just me. It's, it's good. It passes. That's the man's beer, though. I have no idea who's making some man's beer, but the, the regular Duff. A nice little amber color. I'm gonna put it in texture to it. If I'm gonna order a beer and I gotta drink one, I want something that I like to taste. And this is definitely that. Three and a half out of five plus. What do you think about the Universal app? I hate the Universal app. It's a piece of garbage. I do like that you can now get your pass holder discount in the app instead of having them give you cash back like they did when we went to three broomsticks. It's still a little messed up as far as um, 
usability, intuitiveness. Um, you still have to scan your pass to get your pass discount in the app, which is a little weird. And, and the way that you have to like look for things is not it's not intuitive. I will never complain about the Disney app ever again. It's cool. We were just looking around. He had never been in here before. <laughs> Somebody needs to check on the bar. We have a vegetable sandwich. I'm assuming this is from Lisa's shop because, you know, she's the vegetarian. We have this beautiful bun, it's a thick bun, some sprouts, which you really need to make sure you know how to handle these properly because they can be dangerous. And then we have zucchini, squash, carrot, tomato, and there's some guacamole at the bottom. Nice, hefty sandwich. This bottom bun is already soggy though, so that's minus points for that. That was a, a thick, hefty burger. Look at that. Look at those layers. That is a thick carrot, and, and it's not cooked, it's raw. So, And look at this avocado, it's already browned. But I'm gonna try it, I love sprouts. But again, like I said, they can be dangerous if they're not handled properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. This burger is delicious. It's really good. It's cold, which is fine because it's really hot outside. It's got so many different flavors in it. I love the sprouts. The guac actually works with it really well. The carrot isn't overpowering. It's all perfectly balanced. This is a really, really surprisingly good burger. I don't have to share. It is a burger, isn't it? It's a sandwich? Is it a burger or is it a sandwich? Tell me in the comments. I don't know these things. So I'm actually low-key excited about this sandwich. I love vegetable sandwiches done correctly. Now, it's very easy to do them wrong because I don't just want dry vegetables on bread. I want flavors that complement each other and something that sort of tie it together. So far, with the cross section, it's looking kind of promising. Let's go from this side. Mm. So, all the veggies are nice and crisp. It's a cold sandwich, so be aware of that when you get it. If you don't like cold vegetable sandwiches, this might not be for you. The textures, I thought it would be kind of weird with the with the uh, bean sprouts, but it's actually pretty good. And with the guacamole, and then there's like a vinaigrette in there that ties everything together. Along with seasonings on each individual vegetable, that works quite well. Like if you're looking for a nice, healthy, quick lunch, this is it without being too heavy or filling. This is perfect to eat and then go be out in the heat all day. But uh, I give this four out of five claws. I ordered this on my own. So we have a lovely hummus box. It is a little bit larger than the hummus that you get from Disney. Animal Kingdom, Mr. Kumal's hummus is like half this size. But it does look like your standard hummus. It's got, um, this looks like paprika on top of it. It is a little more chunky than um, Mythos. It's probably right at the same level as Confisco Girl. something that Universal does really well 
is hummus. I, I do think that they have Disney lead on that. This hummus is really delicious for just like a box hummus. I could easily just come here and sit here and eat this hummus and be completely happy with my day. It's really good. I might even put the hummus in the sandwich. It might be even better. I will give it that giving this all this together, like we decided since you know we're gonna eat again later that we just split this. This is a nice little lunch. Like I have half of a veggie sandwich. We have hummus with like a tomato. I wish we got more than one. I'll leave that for the princess. And we have carrot sticks, which I love in hummus by the way. But this is easily what I would call like a guilt-free combination. Hummus and a veggie sandwich. They also have potato chips or fries depending on your vegan vegetarian but this is a good combo and the hummus it isn't anything that's going to blow your mind but it is consistently solid which is saying a lot and the portion size is rather generous three out of five plus three out of five plus so i took like two more bites of my half of the sandwich and i'm done the carrot is, is so thick it's just really hard to bite into so i would bring my score down slightly but it, the tastes are really good together i did mow down that hummus and it was amazing i might be slowing down now but overall i'm pretty pretty satisfied for a midday snack So definitely, this was an enjoyable lunch for me. The uh, I continue to, to, to champion the hummus portion. Super generous. Doing a double dip, triple dip, quadruple dip, quint quintuple dip. I think it's the next one. Either way, you have you have plenty. Even enough to dip your sandwich order well soon. Um, I can see the punch is coming from on the carrot. It's a bit thick. I don't mind. Maybe this, this is a particular sandwich. But either, all in all, I feel pretty good about this. I literally, I feel like moderately full without going overboard. And uh, I don't feel bad about eating it. And the price wasn't awful. So are I'm, I'm going to maintain my rating. Are you going to eat that other half? No. I committed to my half. That's your half. I don't uh, waste food. I don't want that half though. I don't waste food. But I don't waste my food. You waste your food. At the uh, request of the princess, because you know, I, I only find it easy to say no to her when there's buying merch is involved. I'm gonna dip this in the hummus since we have so much extra. I could have, but that's civilized stuff. I don't know if I like it with the with the guacamole and the hummus, but if you were to replace the hummus with the guac, I don't think it would have minded. Give that um, two and a half out of five balls. Only because it's the guac and the hummus together. Not so great. Yep, you guys have a great day. All right, everybody stick together. So, we just finished up at Mouse. Well, I, is it Moe's or is it like the whole Simpsons area? It's like, the, it's like the Simpsons area. Food speedway or food fairway? Or? It's like a food court. Yeah, basically. I'm Doc Brown just wandering through. Oh, okay. Either way. So, uh, pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be a throwaway quick service, but it was actually 
That would be decent. It was like the Cheesecake Factory quick service. It's it had still everything. Hello World themed. Yeah. I would definitely go. I'd recommend that you go. Absolutely. Have you guys been? Did we not try anything you think you should try? We need to plant based things this time. Next time, maybe I'll get something non vegan. But need any recommendations from you guys, let us know in the comments. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Sure, subscribe. You heard the bell. Yeah, it's a good